Come on out to the front. Come on out. All right. Uh, who did you come out in? Back up. Just the Obamas. Go back to Secret Service. You're not up there yet. Okay, that's Barack Obama's last time out of Michelle Obama's Rachel. Sasha, his sister Carrie, and Malia, his sister. <laughs> now, I want you to know how they met. Obama met Michelle at Harvard Law School. Don't they look like they love each other? <laughs> yes, they they made two beautiful children. Sasha and Malia, let's give them a hand. <laughs> <laughs> they met at Harvard Law School. That's where they met. They didn't meet down at the club. Come on now. We got the Kings. We got Dr. King. We got Corella. <laughs> Corella. If you take off your shoes, you're going to be so tall. You're dwarfing your husband. Come on now. But in real life, Corretto's a little taller than the doc, so it's all right. I want to let you know how they met. They met at Boston University. Dr. King was to get his doctorate in theology, and his wife was getting her degree as well. They met at Boston University. Made four children, only little one. Right. Amen. Yes, the kings. All right. All right. Come on out here. Secret service. Hey. Right. Let the secret service. I see where there is. We want you to know. We want you to know that every president has a secret service. Okay, and they got some words they're going to tell you, but not right now. But they got some special words they're going to say. Ain't that right? right. Now, that, that there is the special Gatlin gun that Makai is carrying, and, and Adam is carrying the taser. That's the taser. Oh. Just in case you don't want to kill him, you just want to stun him. That's the secret service. All right, now those are our best. Give them all the round. Are you ready? All you got to do is follow the script, okay? All right, this is what we were still in the narrative. Many wonder what President Obama and his wife Michelle would say to Dr. King and his wife Coretta. The Obamas have made it no secret that Dr. King's stand for civil rights helped pave the way for their road to the White House. Dr. King was assassinated in 68. But his death improved racial relations and changed the world's perspective of a black man in America. Dr. King's eloquence and speech and strength of character showed the world that African Americans are not lazy. Slothful Negroes that the racially biased South portrayed. Forty years later, Barack Obama has captivated the world with a positive message. A keen vernacular and unwavering charisma, much like Dr. King. Many thought they would never see a day that a black man would become president of the most powerful country in the world, the United States of America. But that day has come. This skit is a portrayal of what might have been discussed if the kings were to have met the Obamas. Same one, Obama is working hard in the Oval Office. Uh, man, they go. Uh, doctors, taxes. Yes, 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 what, what's the room? Three minutes? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Secret service. Uh, too much. Too much. Shout. Come out. Say what you're supposed to say. Come right out front, little secret service. Go right out front. Show them. <laughs> well, <I'll have> <laughs> Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here. These are young best kids. They're, they're not really strong. You put your weapon up. You lean it to the rear and say, I must protect my president. Go ahead. 
It looks like you're trying to protect somebody. Go ahead. All right. I must protect my president. All right. All right. All right, Michelle comes in. She get on you. Thank you, Mr. King. Oh, thank you. 
Trying to say secrets. Stay right there. Come out. Act like you come on. Act like you uh were protected in the White House. The Obama's I mean President Obama and Dr. King are walking on the White House lawn. And the Secret Service are protecting them.